scientific studies that Islamic prayer, far from having many spiritual benefits as a form of worship, has enormous health benefits, more specifically on the structure and function of the heart, spine, and brain. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to We Talk Islam. The position of prostration, also known as sajda or sujood in the Arabic language, is a position in which the forehead touches the earth and it is exclusively associated with the Muslim form of prayer. It is the climax of a Muslim's prayer and as mentioned in a hadith as the position in which a Muslim is nearest to his creator, Allah the Almighty. In the ever-evolving scientific world, we often come across discoveries that reveal the amazing connection between religion and science. One such example is the research on the sujood position in prayer, which has attracted the attention of many researchers especially in the field of neuroscience. Not only they have found in sujood a depth spirituality, but also various tangible medical and health benefits. In this video, we explore the scientific perspective on the position of sujood and the wonders revealed through research. The sujood, or sajda, is a unique position or stance in the regular prayers, which a Muslim is supposed to offer at least five times a day. Although the basic purpose of obligatory prayers is not to provide exercise, Yet it is being increasingly recognized that it has plenty of medical advantages for the human body. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that prayer is a cure for many diseases, so a person who offers his prayers regularly is protected from many ailments, some of which he may not even know. In an authentic hadith, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised Muslims to perform sujood and ruku calmly and to get up only when the body has come to ease. Hence, the first positive effect upon a person who prostrates or does sajda is that he comes nearest to Allah the Almighty, and so in that condition, he can supplicate. This is a great psychological advantage, because it gives relief to the person concerned as life is full of worries. In this position, the person gets at least a transient refuge, which gives him calmness and hope. Let's now see the health benefits of the sujood position, as confirmed by scientific studies. One of the most interesting studies entitled Health Benefits of Salat, published in the Professional Medical Journal in 2016, the researchers found that Muslim prayer is important as a ritual and physical activity because all muscles of the body are activated more than any form of physical exercise without fatigue and stimulate serenity in body and soul and have long-term health benefits on healthy as well as on diseased people. In a study entitled an ergonomic study of body motions during Muslim prayer using digital human modeling. The researchers compared digital models suffering from back pain with healthy ones. The results showed that the sujood movement in prayer has a positive effect on the health of the back. According to the researchers, the sujood position in prayer can improve joint elasticity and help heal back pain. In a study entitled Assessment of Heart Rates and Blood Pressure in Different Prayer Positions, Published in the Journal of Physiotherapy Science in 2013, the researchers found that the sujood position increases basal metabolic rate, reduces body fat and gives healthy body composition. This is because the process of prayer is low to moderate intensity form of regular exercise, spanning between 10 and 20 minutes up to five times daily. This raises the heartbeat, increasing blood flow around the body and giving strength and stamina to the heart muscles. In addition, Walking from the house or place of work to the mosque for Salah earns a weekly 30 minutes requirement of exercise per day, at least five times per week. In 2018, in an extensive study entitled Physical Benefits of Prayer, they found that in the sujood position, the head is in a position lower than the heart and therefore receives increased blood supply to the brain, stimulating the brain's frontal cortex and in turn reduces the chances of brain hemorrhage and headache and helps to reduce high blood pressure. This surge in blood supply also has a positive effect on memory, concentration, psyche, and other cognitive abilities. A biology professor from Texas in the United States is a woman who converted to Islam after researching the miracle of the sujood position. Dr. Fidelma O'Leary, who works as a professor of neuroscience at the University of Texas, and a neurology doctor at hospital was amazed by the result of her study on the nerves of the human brain. She discovered that the sujood position increases the strength of blood flow to the brain, especially to the hippocampus, a region that's crucial to memory. In fact, even though human brain makes up only 2% of the body's weight, 
It uses 20% of the oxygen and blood flow in the body. Therefore, increasing the brain blood flow can decrease the risk of Alzheimer's and vascular dementia, among other benefits. And one way to do this is by putting oneself in the sujude position, because in this position, the blood is pumped instantaneously to brain nerves. After this discovery of the benefits of sujude for health and other discoveries she made in her research, Dr. Fidelma pronounced the Shahada and became Muslim. It's a very simple message. There's God. Worship God. Then she decided to share her knowledge with others through her medical practice by opening a clinic called Treatment with the Quran, where she uses verses from the Quran and recommendation from the Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad in the treatment of her patients. The clinic provides various Islamic treatment methods, including the use of fasting, honey and olive oil, among others, in accordance with the instructions from the Quran and the Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The health benefits of sujood by lowering the body to the ground have been proved by various scientific studies. Here is the summary of the most important benefits. Number one, sujood allows adequate supply of oxygen to the brain. During sujood, the position of the heart is above the brain so blood can flow better into the body. This allows an adequate supply of oxygen to the brain, which plays an important role in improving the function of billions of nerve cells in the body. Smooth oxygen flow to the brain also helps relieve headaches, sharpen the mind, and improve one's mental quality. Number two, improves the state of the spine and back. While prostrating, the hip joint and spine are stretched to the maximum, and this calls for the lengthening of the nerves due to the stretch experienced in the entire vertebral column. This helps curtail lower back injuries and pain, such as sciatica. Number three, smooth breathing. During sujood, the movement of the body that presses on the diaphragm area helps smooth breathing. This is very beneficial, especially for individuals with breathing problems or disorders such as asthma. Sujood also helps to open up the respiratory tract and improve loan capacity. Number four, the movements of ruku'u and sujood in prayer can help improve posture, increase joint flexibility, strengthen muscles, and increase the flow of blood and oxygen to various parts of the body. In conclusion, the Islamic prayer is more than a form of worship. For a believer, understanding the wisdom and benefits associated with Salah from not just a spiritual aspect but from a physiological point of view is truly inspirational. It helps draw us closer to our Creator out of His love and mercy for prescribing these acts of worship upon us. May Allah help us connect with Him at a deeper level, spiritually as well as physically. Assalamu alaikum.